a lot of people know that sterling silver is a very lustrous metal and it does somewhat resist corrosion. The idea behind sterling silver was to make silver stronger and also help silver to resist corrosion a little longer. But it doesn't actually do that in effect in the real world. As a matter of fact, if you were to actually put sterling silver near salt water or perspiration for a period of time, it would corrode. And that is mainly the main drawback behind it. And, you know, one of the best metals for precious metals to have jewelry in is actually preferably to use gold or platinum. Platinum has a high luster, but not as high a luster as silver or palladium, which is kind of a dull metal compared to even platinum. Silver's properties for a jewelry is actually fantastic. It's just that the problem is it must be maintained. Now, in the case of this model, if her bikini top and the armband she was wearing were made of sterling silver alloys, they would very easily tarnish within uh, from perspiration or from the water. And that is one of the main drawbacks to sterling silver. But there is a new type of sterling silver out there that's not been around for that many years. And it uses a little bit of another material added to it in place of the copper. So in actuality, it is 92.5% silver, so it qualifies as genuine sterling silver. It's just that some of the copper is replaced. Now, it's been out for a few years. It's not actually brand new, but you really can't find too much jewelry out there that's made from this stuff yet. Actually, in my um, if I'm going to actually buy silver again jewelry, I've had one chain that I used for a while, and I don't like wearing it anymore because it tarnishes too easily, even though it's genuine sterling silver. And I have a ring that I wear is very thick silver, and it has onyx and um, tiger's eye in it mixed also. That does not seem to tarnish, so I have no problem I use that. But one thing I hate about sterling silver is that it, the standard sterling silver seems to tarnish. Now, this stuff, you can actually put it in this new type of sterling silver, you can actually put it in a dishwashing machine and clean it that way. You would never be able to do that with the standard type. This type is highly, highly resistant to tarnishing, and it's the biggest breakthrough in 5,000 years, literally. Um, you can look this up. I'm, this is straight from Wikipedia. I can actually look up things on various people's sites who sell it, and they go into more detail. Uh, but this is just to give the standard definition. Argentium sterling silver is what it's called. is a modern sterling silver alloy which modifies a traditional alloy. 92.5% silver and 7.5% copper by replacing some of the copper with metalloid germanium. It still retains 92.5% silver content of the traditional al alloy, so it's still sterling silver. It's just that some of the copper is replaced by germanium very very tarnish resistant this stuff actually you'll never ever have to polish it again that's how good it is but try to find jewelry out there with this stuff right now there's not much of it but this is the stuff to look for if you're in, a, in the market to actually buy more sterling silver jewelry this would be the way to go definitely definitely um, it's very close to um, silver as far as the melting point and everything like that but actually when you're manufacturing the silver and welding it together and joining it together to make the product the fact that it has this type of alloy makes it a hell of a lot easier because the germanium has um, a good electrical resistance in other words uh, increases the thermal and electrical resistance making the alloy suitable for welding and laser forming so it makes it actually easier to put together sterling silver pieces. So this actually could make be an idea that can drive down the price of silver as far as jewelry goes and make it more popular. Now, the only place I saw this, and, well, this was the largest piece I saw on um, eBay, Argentium sterling silver uh, unisex basket weave bracelet, $350. It's probably fairly thick. But there is not that many products out here that contain this type of sterling silver. But this is a fantastic idea. Not, peop not many people know about it. It's not been well known. And uh, the tarnish testing is 
beyond belief. It's been developed um, some years ago by Peter Johns at Art and Design Research Institute, School of Art and Design in Middlesex University. The project began in 1990, but it wasn't until that many years ago that it was actually perfected. And there's like uh, some competition between manufacturers that will state that their particular mix is better than the other one, and this is the reason why. But this is what you want to look for if you get another uh, sterling silver jewelry piece, Argentium sterling silver, which has some of the germanium in it. So actuality, it could be possible to have sterling silver jewelry as such as she's wearing and uh, wear it in the water, wear it in the ocean, and it never will tarnish. It can be incorporated in clothes uh, as decoration or body wear and that type of thing, and it will never tarnish. Now, that was always the problem. If you wanted a white metal jewelry, you never can do that with silver. In actuality, you really couldn't do that with white gold because with white gold, you mix it with nickel. Some people have allergic reactions to nickel. Then with white gold, they also rhodidium plate it, and the rhodidium plating wears off, and then you have to do that probably every year or two. So it's expensive, and actually the best thing to do was to get platinum jewelry which is even more expensive, but it would last. But in this case, this type of Argentium sterling silver would be an actually a more attractive piece to wear than platinum. It would never tarnish, and the cost would be just a fraction of what platinum would cost or gold would cost. And it should be right in line with standard traditional sterling silver. In the future, I'd almost guess that all sterling silver is going to be this argentium sterling silver and some of the copper is going to be replaced with this germanium it actually makes it easier to make the piece weld it or you know use the laser technology on it because the properties of this of the sterling silver are improved but just add to the fact that you could take this sterling silver piece the argentium sterling silver and as a standard cleaning measure, you could just throw it in a dishwasher and wash it that way. You would never be able to do that with standard sterling silver, not in a million years. So, you know, the, um, the advertising on it is said that it's the biggest improvement in sterling silver or silver alloys in 5,000 years. And you know what? I have to agree with that. This is a little known idea that's out there and I just figured I'd present it. So in the future look for Argentium Sterling Silver. Not many products being sold right now that have that actual specific alloy.